Hello, Faith family. Welcome to today's panel. I'm Kelsey Hurd, and I'm joined by Sarah Sheeran. We just heard an excellent sermon on 1 Samuel 26 through 28. So let's get right to it. Okay. How were you helped by today's sermon? I, I love 1 Samuel because it's such realistic scenarios. This is not like a fairy tale idea. Mm -hmm. This is everyday life. These people are messy. They are sinning and the Lord never hides their sin from us mm. and so it's so sweet to see how the Lord works despite of us in our wickedness and how his plan cannot be thwarted mm. by yes. by our sin or by just our ignorance or in this case our discouragement like the Lord mm -hmm. will still go forward and um, it's just wonderful how the Lord has given us his word in different ways. So you have poetic books. I, I, my mind works better with stories. Mm -hmm. So for me, these are so helpful and I learn so much more because it's in a story form. That's great. Thanks for sharing. Kyle mentioned that David began preaching doubt to his heart. How important is it to preach truth to your heart? Mm. This is, this is such an important thing. I think especially <laughs> women, I mm -hmm. think, I don't know, cause I'm not sure how a man's mind works exactly, but I think as females, we have such inner dialogue going yes. on all the time. And we have very strong emotions, very strong feelings about things. Mm -hmm. And it is very easy for us to be lied to by our, by our feelings. Yes. Um, we have to learn this at like an incredibly young age as well. And it was, it was just amazing to me that this was so obvious. All of a sudden, all of David's outward things changed. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't because it just clicked one day. Inwardly, things had changed so much earlier. Yes. Um, I talk out loud a lot to myself. <laughs> <laughs> and so I know my husband has heard me and my children have heard me like say out loud to myself, that is not truth. <laughs> and that may sound crazy, I know, but there are times where in your inner dialogue is just crazy and it's yes. so many feelings of, of lies are going through and it is so important. I was speaking with one of my children about our outward actions the mm. other day and we were discussing how they had to start here first yes. or here, mm -hmm. our wickedness and how important it is to guard our hearts and our minds mm -hmm. because that's where our sin originates. Yes. And so I just thought that was, I mean, this is a man that was anointed by God. We know he's going to, Jesus will come out of his line. And here he is. He had seen God save him time and time and time again and provide over yes. and over and over. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, he's like, Saul's going to get me, you know? Yes. It's just, it, it was understandable. He had been there for seven to nine mm -hmm. years running. Um, but when you're on the other side, you're thinking, how, what, David? No, why? Why are you thinking this yes. now? But we do that. <clears throat> Sometimes the next day we yes. are discouraged or... Or maybe this afternoon. Yeah, <laughs> or a few hours. <laughs> or you wake up differently or whatever mm -hmm. the case may be. One little thing changes. And it's, I loved, um, Kyle said that it's a sin. Mm. It is a sin to sit there and doubt God's goodness. Yes. It is a sin to doubt the things that God has promised to us mm -hmm. or has given us already. And I don't know if I had really seen it like that before yes and ultimately anytime we are discouraged in that way that's what we're doing we're doubting God we we don't want to say we are yes but that is ultimately what we're doing I think it's interesting too the way that God's character doesn't change yes at all and we've seen all of that through first Samuel mm -hmm. and the rest of the Bible but just that continued like we can't stop Reminding ourselves of what is true. Yes. Because we forget it mm -hmm. or feel distant from it. So helpful. Okay, so Kyle mentioned three takeaways. The first being 
what are we supposed to do with all the witchcraft in this text? Yes. Takeaway two, what would you do if you knew you only had 24 hours to live? And three, how does this text point to Jesus Christ? Did any of those stick out to you? Yes. This, um, I don't know why I've always loved this story. Mm -hmm. It's probably one of my favorite Bible stories. But um, when Kyle was talking about what do we do with all this rich witchcraft, it's really weird yes. to have this. We I found it unnerving yes. to read through all of this. Yeah, it's kind of, it's creepy and weird. Mm -hmm. And this anointed king of the nation that God has chosen is at a witch's house. Mm -hmm. His His men knew where she was. This was not you know, just some weird random thing. Everybody, when he said, I need a witch, we know, we know where one is. So this was prevalent mm -hmm. in their society. And I think we like to think that it's not prevalent in our society. Yes. And, um, and I think our society is really good at masking things to not seem so creepy and yeah. weird and cauldron-esque, mm -hmm. you know? Um, so that, that really stuck out to me. And what are you, where are you going for your advice? Yes. Where are you going for comfort? Saul was mm. trying to ultimately be comforted. Yeah. He wanted somebody to tell him it was going to be okay. Mm -hmm. And when God wouldn't speak to him, he just went somewhere else. Yes. And I think about things that we may not even associate with witchcraft, mm -hmm. but we're either making them an idol or we're just looking, you know, at, I'm just going to do this one little thing because it tells me more about myself or about yeah. my personality or it helps explain things or it's just this fun little thing. Mm -hmm. Anytime we are going outside of the word of God to look for any kind of comfort, any kind of life advice yeah. is so dangerous. Mm -hmm. And our society does kind of shield it a little more so it doesn't look as... yes scary it looks more polished yes then we think we think we're above stuff like this like oh oh my word i would never go to a witch well what what else are we going to yes. rather than the word yes that's excellent thanks for sharing well thanks for having me faith family thanks for joining us we'll see you next week